I increased my IQ to 140 points and here you can see two tests which I did in a five months period and as you can see these are not some shit tests done by a thousand people but real good tests done by almost 100,000 people. So the results are really legit and here in this video I'm going to tell you exactly how I did it. The fact that our IQ is unstable and it changed through our lifetime shouldn't be a surprise for anyone. There are multiple scientific researches which prove that we can shape our IQ by ourselves and that genetic, however they play some role in that, they are not an ultimate factor why we have this IQ and not another. And we can do really a lot to increase our IQ and become just more intelligent people. Why it is good to have high IQ? Of course you might have heard that higher IQ doesn't really guarantee any success in life. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci and that's true of a lot of millionaires, a lot of people who do really, really well in life have IQ much under the average. And also the fact is that a lot of geniuses, people with really, really high IQ, which could send rockets to Mars and as a really depressed people with a lot of addictions and they cannot handle their life because of too much overthinking and see problems which a lot of people just don't see. So high IQ, as you can see, doesn't guarantee anything in life. However, what it really does, it makes you able to learn faster, think quicker, understand things on a deeper level and understand some really complex relations in the world. That's the real thing which high IQ can give you. And our IQ is also not a stable thing. It is a result of at least five different types of intelligence. I can count abstract reasoning, pattern recognition, deductive reasoning, numeral reasoning, cognitive ability, and these all parts of intelligence can get their own scores. Okay, so let's go to my way and let's explain how I really did it. The first step is to stop voluntarily decrease your intelligence, because as humans, Every day do a lot of things to voluntarily decrease our intelligence and you might ask how it's possible. And first very basic thing, how long people sleep in well-developed countries. In a lot of Western countries and countries which do really well, average sleep time is less than 7 hours and 7 hours is an absolute minimum how normal people should sleep. If you don't sleep at least, at least 7 hours, a lot of processes in your brain cannot be proceed correctly, your long-term memory cannot even be created, you are not fully rested and your brain gets micro damages which can result in really terrible illnesses in an old age. Sleep is not just a waste of time but it's one of the most important thing which you can do for your brain and to improve in your everyday life. So if you constantly sleep under 7 hours it can really create a damages in your brain and can decrease your intelligence and the abilities of your brain just because of this simple thing. And I have to admit that for the big part of my life, I felt that six hours of sleep is enough for me. But then when I increased the sleep time in the night, I really felt a difference. Six wasn't enough for me. I get a lot of infections. I couldn't function without caffeine. I couldn't think properly. So if you will increase your sleep time to at least seven and a half hour, which, which is normal and which every adult person should sleep, you will see a difference. Another thing which can decrease your intelligence is bad diet. A lot of people just don't provide enough nutrients in their diet. We eat some shit, we eat carbs in the morning, which are decreasing our orexin level and put us in the sleepy, not working mood, which we really don't need in the morning. To stay alert and keep high cognitive abilities, you shouldn't sleep until the noon and your first meal of the day of course shouldn't be carbs, it should be something with fats and proteins which will increase orexin production in your brain, which can eliminate your tiredness and put you into this alerted working mood. And of course, and of course, lack of essential nutrients, essential elements like zinc, magnesium. Our soils currently are so poor in elements, so most of you will probably have to take some supplements. And it's really important to take enough doses of zinc, of magnesium, which are super, super important for the total work of the brain. Without them, it's like driving a car without changing oil. You will never be able to reach a top speed. So the same is with your brain. If you don't provide enough nutrients, enough elements, which are really essentials, and I already did a video about top five supplements for the brain, so you can watch it on my channel. 
So just this can also decrease your intelligence. The next thing are your life habits. A lot of things which we do on our daily basis, like scrolling, watching Netflix, playing video games, can massively decrease our cognitive abilities. Because how you feel after watching Netflix for eight hours? It's good when you watch, but when you stop watching, you feel like you just spent 10 hours in a coal mine. And that's because your brain is overloaded with information, overloaded with things to analyze, and also your dopamine is at the lowest possible level. Yes, it increased a little bit while you were watching these videos, while you were scrolling, playing video games, but as soon as you stop to do these things, you cannot do anything more in that day because your dopamine is at the bottom level. Quitting these things and put your brain again in healthy state isn't easy and fast thing, and not any short dopamine detox will not help you with that. You should create a habit which will allow you in long term to eliminate those activities and gradually decrease the use of electronics, decrease your time in front of the screen. So these are things which can really decrease your intelligence. And what are things to do when you already eliminated all those bad habits to increase that? As I said, our IQ is not a single measure. It is at least five different parts of intelligence, which together form one number, which is an IQ. So to increase your total intelligence, you need to practically work on all of those five different parts of intelligence. The process of improving your brain by different kinds of exercises is really, really long topic because you need to improve at least five different parts of intelligence. So right now I'm going to just give you here on the screen five different types of intelligence which you need to improve to in total increase your IQ. Please do your own research or just get my ebook which costs only $10 and which explains fully my way to 140 IQ. You can find it in the description. But here also I'm going to give you most powerful tip and most powerful exercise which can really increase your intelligence right now and it works for people in literally all ages. So this exercise is Palace of Memory, where you learn new things and put it in imaginary building, imaginary place. So you can do also more research about Palace of Memory, but this is the most powerful tip and a lot of masters of memory techniques which are solving Rubik's Cube game on time with closed eyes, with just, just from their memory, uses this technique and notice huge growth of their IQ as they are doing these exercises. Of course, there are much more. You can see them all in my ebook or do your own research. But here I'm giving you the most powerful, which led, for example, this guy, which is Marcin Kovacic and which is a few times world master of solving the Rubik's Cube game just from his memory and IQ level, which Mensa wasn't able to precisely measure because it was so high. The next thing are physical exercises. Remember that nothing can protect us from the Alzheimer, dementia and all other old people illnesses of the brain despite physical activity. It's the only thing which can really in a long term improve your brain functioning, cognitive abilities and also your intelligence. Which kind of exercise? It doesn't matter. Because scientists found that strength exercise, sprints, even long distance running all these things can have same positive impact for the brain. So our body just need a movement to be intelligent. And the most really nice thing among all these different studies, scientists found that any of them, anything which causes us to move and raise our heartbeat can be positive for our brain functioning, cognitive abilities and prevent us from getting dementia, Alzheimer, etc. And the last thing, supplementation. If you already do all these things which I mentioned before, here is the next step, supplementation. And that's really tough topic because we have all different types of brain and for different of us, we'll work some different things. I personally don't recommend anything chemical. We have this intuition maybe that we think that everything what is chemical, what is from laboratory is better than natural things. But it doesn't work in this way with uh, supplements which are meant to improve your brain functioning. Because we know so little about brain, just maybe 7% of total brain functions and total brain structures are currently known by science. So it's really not a point in taking some chemical supplements if we don't know so much about the brain. 
it's better to choose something which nature already did for us because maybe it was better than our random scientific achievements in this field. For example, it's proven that a mushroom which is called lion's mane can cause neurogenesis, which means producing more neurons in your brain, which of course can have some impact on your intelligence, cognitive skills, etc. It is also proved that things like, for example, Bacopi monieri can slightly increase your IQ. It is proven that ashwagandha, a mushroom called cordyceps, can have a very good influence on your cognitive functions and on your intelligence. And if you want to learn more and know more and exactly step by step know the way how I increased my IQ from 130 to 140, you can buy my ebook which is in the description and which costs now only $10 and where I explain step by step using over 50 scientific publications how I increased my IQ by 10 points in 5 months. I explain about all supplements, all exercises which I did, all things which I used on my daily basis to reach this effect. I put there my experience with every kind of uh, supplement which I already tried and how it worked on me and on my brain. And also put descriptions from scientific researches about all supplements which are the most common and used for improving brain functions. I put there also most important exercises for the brain which allowed me to get this intelligence and also daily habits which you need to eliminate or improve at to get this type of intelligence. Of course, if you don't want to buy, here in this video I gave everything in a big short and if you do your own research and find your own things, you can really do it by yourself. I also had to found these scientific researches but if you want to save your time and if you want to have a shortcut to your effects, you can get my ebook, which is in the description. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you later. Ciao, ciao.